great circularity to life. Um, when they asked if I could say a few words to convey to everyone uh, the sense that we in the Department of Business have for, for Bonnie and for Bonnie's contribution over the years, um, it, it gave me pause, as I'm sure it would anyone. Bonnie joined Linfield in, in 1994, uh, first in DCE, one of the stool, legs of the stool that they referred to, and then in 2002 joined the Department of Business. And it's been 15 wonderful years that she's been with us. Um, some of the most significant things about Bonnie, I believe, is her commitment to Linville. And this will perhaps strike you that she drove 62 miles each way every class day from her and her husband's Gail's home in Vancouver. And to my memory, I cannot remember her not arriving until the circumstances of today. So, <laughs> somebody's trying to give us a message. <laughs> Bonnie uh, came to Linfield after a, a career in training and organizational development with several major um, Vancouver and Portland area firms. She worked with PGE, Northwest Natural Gas, Weyerhaeuser, and Reynolds Metal. And she was ideally suited to teach uh, human relations and organizational theory. Why? Because she had told the big boys how to do it. Professionally, Bonnie was the consummate people person uh, on our faculty. Uh, she was the counterpoint to the sort of hard numbers people, the accountants and the finance people that we have. While Bonnie represented the, uh, the soft side, so to speak, of our discipline, she was no sucker. Um, and the students loved her and the students respected her. Uh, they learned good people skills, not uh, from rote book learning, but from firsthand experience and the guidance that Bonnie provided. Um, I think the students appreciated Bonnie's willingness to listen to their problems, um, sometimes ideas, and sometimes they were just plain excuses from, from the students. She always was ready to listen, had a, a kind ear, and usually gave, no, I say always, gave solid advice on how to approach or solve some of those people problems. She got her ideas across to students without being preachy or condescending. Um, she always respected the students' abilities and, and, their, and them as persons. The students knew about organizations and how organizations ran because they believed in it. Bonnie was, I think, the chief disciple of caring about people in our department. Bonnie was also responsible for taking the Linfield business students to the finals of the ethics bowls among Portland area colleges. Linfield students had never done as well as they did under her mentorship and guidance. But Bonnie was more than a great teacher. She was a great person. Uh, we miss her already in the department. We miss her incisive observation. We miss her willingness to help with different sorts of departmental activities. And we miss Bonnie in other ways. There's no more colored paper in the <laughs> we miss the sometimes evening conferences. Bonnie had mastered the art of offsetting her work day so she didn't have to drive in morning traffic into Portland, so she arrived a little late, but she always stayed late. And it was interesting. It seemed to be just perfect for what the students' lifestyles were to have those evening conferences. And of course, we now miss our, our consummate party animal because as a people person, Bonnie was, was the social leader. <coughs> of our department. Now, Bonnie officially retired in, in December after the fall semester. She did so really so that she could plant a new garden this spring and to help plan a new retirement home that she and her husband, Gail, are planning up in the Columbia Gorge in Lyle, Washington. We wish Bonnie the, the very best and the enjoyment in her retirement. We know that it'll certainly not be an idle retirement and she, we wanted her to know that she is very much missed here at the department. So if you'll join me and we'll wish Bonnie sort of in absentia our best wishes uh, from the college and from the department. Thank you.